I'm Davian No More, man. Just to clear the air, I'm not no comedian. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like I have a few jokes, but I ain't gonna hold the intro for long. We're gonna flow up the top of my head. I don't got nothing written down right here in front of me, side of me, anything like that. I'm just gonna go off my head. And, you know, I'm just a naturally funny person. Hope I can make somebody laugh, man. So I'm doing my own little comedy special. Yes, I'm Davia No More, channel name. Hope y'all enjoy. So basically, man, you know how everybody in the family had them crackheads. You know what I'm saying? Them crackheads, right? <laughs> them motherfucking crackheads be so funny, man. I caught one stealing in my mama's purse one time. That nigga said, he said, chill, nephew. She owe me the money. Okay. So I went in the room just jogging. I'm like, uncle said you owe him the money. She said, what the fuck you talking about? I said, he said, you owe him the money. She going there looking at this nigga. This nigga had the mattress on lift up and shit. She said, no, just looking at this nigga. He's like, he's like, sis, sis, let me hold a couple dollars. I gotta get some pampers. My, my mom just sitting there with the disappointed look like. You know, you know that look you, you just don't want to get from your sister or your mom. It's just like. <laughs> Long story short. Long story short, man, this nigga, this nigga just got. This nigga had took some money from me. He lied, he said he never found the thing. We ain't see this nigga till the next family reunion. You know how they always pop up the family reunion and be taking all the food and shit? We see this nigga at the next family reunion. This nigga like, look, I know you, I know you, I know I owe you a few dollars, but I'm going to give it to you soon, sis. You know the, all the false promises and shit, man. <laughs> oh, shit, man. Oh, long story short, man. Don't never trust no crackheads. Don't ever allow crackheads in your house, y'all. Don't ever do that. Feel me? Also, man, one time, all right? No, matter of fact, dozens of times. These, these situations be happening, man. If you niggas don't have a sister, let me tell you. It's living hell. Let me say that again. Let me say that shit again. If you niggas don't have a sister, it's, it's living hell. You just be sitting there playing with your wrestlers, man. You a little kid, playing with your wrestlers. Come in there, snatch it from you. Pull the nigga head off. You sitting there just staring at him. What the fuck I do to you? They always walk around like something stuck out their ass. I swear to God, I'm like, I'm thinking, younger me, like, what did I ever do to you? Like, she literally just come harass a nigga. I'm sitting here just chilling. Why you do this? Why you do that? I'm like, oh, shit. I don't know. This bitch is crazy. I'll be thinking that motherfucker possessed sometimes, bro. You're a demon, man. Me and my fucking sisters be demons. One time, my sister. My sister, I got the I got the best payback of my sister ever. She can't never say nothing about this. We was outside playing with the BB guns. It was back when the BB, uh, BB guns was cracking. We was back playing with the BB guns and shit. Man. I swear to God. I popped her ass. Had her right here in the eye. I popped, I popped the fuck out of her ass. Cause I was like, I was like, I was just like, I was like, this is all that payback. Breaking my wrestlers, breaking my gang controllers, all that. I don't know why they're so fucking possessive and evil. And then the most spoiled ones on top of that. I pop. <laughs> no, it's boom. No, no hesitation. I popped her dumb ass. Man. I'm like, I'm like, and I realize as I get older, <laughs> my dating life, man, all bitches is crazy. They, they all got a fantasy in their head. I was with this fat bitch one time, right? I was, I was with this fat bitch. We was in her vehicle. We was in her vehicle, right? We was just, we was just chilling. This fat bitch just said out of nowhere, you're mine. I'm sitting here in the chair just like this. You know how you be the pastor to see you just mind your business, you on your phone and shit. 
This bitch just said to me, your mind. I look at this fat bitch, I'm like. This bitch is crazy. You know, I'm, I'm just, this, this bitch is crazy. This bitch is so sane. So, so, after that, this bitch trying to, this bitch trying to go through my phone, trying to see all the bitches I'm texting, and all this, I'm like, bitch, I just met you. These, these, these bitches be insane. I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, what do I do to make these bitches dispossessive? Power's only fuck the bitch like one. You feel me? But then the shit was so trash. I felt so bad. I took her out for ice cream. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a nice guy. I took her out the ice cream. You know, this fat bitch got the nerve to tell me. This fat bitch had the nerve to tell me she don't like ice cream. I'm like, what you like, dog? What you like? I don't like cake. I don't like brownies. I don't like cookies. This fat, this fat bitch says she like ice cream. I'm just sitting here in my head just persuading. It's nothing you can do to satisfy a woman. That's a fact. You can do small things for her. Take her out. Do this, do that. You bitch like, no, no, no. I'm like, oh, here we go. This bitch retarded, huh? I don't want no parts of that. This bitch. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> These bitches be, these bitches be swearing they did an APA contract, nigga. This bitch be talking about, she, she wanna, these bitches be talking about they wanna spit your bags. Look at my balance account, my bitch only got $100, bitch. You can get the off-brand coach for right now. <laughs> you can get the off-brand coach right now. <laughs> Shit. These bitches be saying I want the new jerseys. So bitch, we could afford the new felines. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't know what these bitches be expecting, man. It'd be, it be, it be crazy. It'd be crazy, man. It'd be so possessive, man. I was on the phone with these bitches just one time, man. Um, she was talking about uh, the what if perhaps. You know how do you do something with a female, the what if perhaps. You know, y'all know how that shit go, man. The what if perhaps, right? This bitch was telling me what was gonna happen if she got pregnant. I swear to God, my line, it's a true story. <laughs> this bitch told me, she said, you gotta cut off all your you gotta cut off all your family, all your female friends. No more social media. No more posting on social media. No more that. If you talk to somebody, I gotta be the baby and me gotta be right there. I'm sitting here looking at this bitch through the phone like. What 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 what, what is this bitch talking about? She she lost I stopped listening at the part where she said, when you talking to family, she gotta be right there. I'm like, bitch, you gonna be in the next room with it when the wife's and kids supposed to be at. You ain't gonna be here with the man. You know, I'm I'm just I'm confused. This bitch had me. I was like. I was like, oh yeah, remind me to double up next time. I'll fuck you. I'm fine. I'm, I'm cool with that, baby. I don't need nobody up my ass, man. I already got too much shit on my hands. You think I need you up my ass? That's not happening. You feel me? So I'm over here just thinking. I'm like, I gotta go. I gotta stop going so hard on these bitches, man. They just be, <laughs> they be falling in love, man. The bitch is telling me she had dreams about me. And, uh, she had dreams. <laughs> this bitch was telling me she had dreams about me. She missed me. She was thinking about me a lot. I'm still over here on my on my computer just typing slowly. I'm like, this bitch is crazy. I need to get away from this bitch. She, she'll kill me. The bitch talking about she gonna cover my house. I'm like, oh, I don't know about that, bitch. You, you ain't coming over here. Not with that shit. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? What y'all tell y'all, bitch? You know the worst way it is, man? It's my mama, man. <sighs> my mama is the worst one. The biggest manipulator I've seen in my life. <sighs> she been bitching my dad for the estimated like last 15 years. 
my dad don't got no say so and shit. My dad say so. She raised her hand like this. My dad like this. Every time I'll be like, damn, mom. Like, you got an old big in the gym. <laughs> Just to be a bitch. <laughs> my, my mom, my mom be walking around like she did 20 years in the pen. Like this. My mom, be, my mom the king pig. Fuck, I'm scared of my mom. My mom raised her hand on me. I'm like this. I see my mom's doing this. Shit, she must hit harder than the nigga. Shit. I'll be sitting down there. I'll be sitting down there chilling with my pops on this day home. He be smacking those shots of liquor. Shit, I see why. I was the same semester bit as you. I be smacking those shots of liquors too. Shit. That nigga scared. I'm definitely scared. <sighs> my mom be. My mom get mad. She use her nigga voice. Debbie, I told you to do this. I said, shit, you right. I'm packing my bags. I'm doing this shit now. Like, my mom say something, nigga, you do it. I'll be scared as fuck. My mom be, they put my mom in that scared street show. Them kids be in there acting like they soldiers. They talk to my mom. My mom raise her hand. Them niggas gonna be running out. They don't give a fuck if they in the shower or not. They butt-ass naked. They had it straight for they sale. They was like, fuck it, give me the keys. I like it myself. Like, them niggas, <laughs> nigga, I'm scared of my mom, nigga. My mom, she the kingpin, bro. I don't, I don't know, man. It's one time. It's one time, right? Why well, we still the topics talking shit, talking shit about uh, about the uh, the lovely females, right? This one time, man, I was just on the uh, phone. This one chick, she be swear she had me sorry, man. <sighs> So I got tired of it. I'm on my computer just just yapping, you know, doing my doing my little YouTube shit, just cleaning up my YouTube shit, right? She said, she said, I have you quiet, da, 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 like in a roast battle. I like what I like to do is man, I like to argue with people. I love arguing, man. I, I shut people shut I shut people the fuck up like quick. So she kept talking about shit. I said, hold up, I got somebody you look like. I popped the picture right here. This bitch didn't say anything. This bitch hung up as fast as possible. She was over there banging on that motherfucking button. She was like this. I texted the bitch. I said, hey, no response. I'm blocked for another week. See, this is this is this is, this is, this is the seclusion. If you want to joke with the joke master, at least take the heat. Shit. I be begging motherfuckers all day. I do it all day, even when I get salty. I be a little mad, but I be like, Bitch, you look like he's ill off a of Friday. You know something? You know what I'm saying? I be, I be pissed. You see on my face? I be like, bitch, you look like he's ill off a of Friday. You got a bald ass head. Like, you know what I'm saying? I still keep it. I still, I still keep it mad. But I don't be, you know what I'm saying? When they get salty, they be trying to fight you and shit. They be throwing shit at you. Shit. If you're fucking her, she gonna cut, try to cut your dick off. And, uh, and shit. I'll be like, oh, Lord. Man. <sighs> oh shit, man. <laughs> Talking about niggas selling drugs, man. I don't know, first of all, I don't know how these niggas can do it. I can't. I can't sell drugs. It's not the fact that I'm being a bitch. It's the fact, nigga. When you see all the charges these niggas get on them, nigga, they washing you like steaming hot water, like the skin falling off your motherfucking flesh, boy. I be like, oh, hell no. One little nigga told, told me one time, I'll just be pulling up at people's spots, you know, I'll just be chilling with people, showing people I'm alive and shit. Just, just killing with people, right? Man, this one nigga told me, he said, bro, yeah, man, selling drugs, man. Um, yeah, man, I'm a soldier. I'm the baddest nigga out here. I get all the bitches. Da, 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 da. I'm sitting here straight at this nigga with the straightest face. I'm like, nigga, for every gun, for, for what gun you got? Every bullet is a year, nigga. And then you got cocaine on top of that? Nigga, you washed. They washing the fuck out of you. Like, this nigga just sitting here. Eyes bloodshot red, they gonna get you on inhaling the drugs, nigga. You supposed to be the one selling it, but this nigga over here sniffing it. 
That's that shit, nigga. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, I'd be like, I gotta get the fuck up out of here. This one, this one time, this white nigga came in. Came in, I'm just chilling out somebody's spot. He came in with a ski mask and a gun. Eyes bloodshot red. I'm like, what the fuck wrong with this nigga? I'm sitting on, I'm, I'm just sitting down. Look back at this nigga, he look at me. He kept pushing in the next room. Long story short, this nigga came out. He got that. He got the gun in his hand, walking by like he tough. I said, here, look at that, this nigga. I'm like, what did I do to this nigga? Come to find out, this nigga was mad because I'm talking to the bitch he wanted. I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm about to get killed by the white crash out. Start calling my brother, start calling my family. I'm like, pray for it, nigga, man. Pray for me. I was like, there's something wrong with this generation. You niggas, you niggas ain't got no game, but y'all carry guns and drugs and still can't get bitches. I be like, oh man, I feel bad for these niggas. I'm be like, what did I do to make these niggas that mad? I'm just being myself. This nigga gotta be a whole gangster. He still can't pull the bitch he want. I'm like, damn. I'm like, this generation wash. Niggas wanna be, you wanna be full of generation, generation gangsters. Your pops wash, your grandpa wash, this nigga about to be washed next. That's the whole aspect, man. Be yourself, man. Stop thinking y'all gotta be somebody or not. You feel me? This is, this is the real situation, man. In school, man. In school. <laughs> in school, man. Long history of uh, being a juvenile delinquent in school. This one time, man. Shit. Long time ago. Man, these niggas be thinking you a bitch. So there's one guy, this one, this wrong group of fellas. I ain't exploiting no names. They caused drama down in the past. Same city, same, same life. Um, these niggas be walking that hallway like they tough. Much span of months go by. Everybody fighting all this shit. I promise you, I ain't never seen a nigga get put in the trash can so so pleasantly with much care. Man, my boy put this nigga in the trash can like it wasn't nothing. He shot the lid on that nigga too. He said, he get back up, this nigga elbowed the nigga, put him right back in there. I said, I say, listen, I ain't never took so much pride in fighting in my life. But growing up with me was tough. My mama wanted to kill me. My dad wanted to strangle me. My brother beat my ass a couple times. I was a menace. Most of the time, nigga. One time, I got caught. I got caught fighting at school where my where my sister told this to my parents. I don't think I, I did. I think I did get caught. No, no, I did. I never got caught for this one. Right. So speaking of fight, we was outside. We was walking in early in the morning. It's like six o'clock in the morning. It's like kind of dark outside. You know, that time of the season, middle school. These niggas start fighting. These niggas start jumping my homeboy. This one bitch in the crowd say, Davey, you gonna do something? I whip my motherfucking belt out. I start whooping these niggas, right? Beating the fuck out these niggas. This nigga came in the building. He said, niggas ain't got no word for me. This nigga got a big ass mark right here. I said, damn, nigga, I'll crack your ass with something generous. And then... I talked to my cousin a few days later. He said, nigga, you up there whipping niggas with bounce out? I said, damn, who telling everybody? Fuck. I'll be like, damn. Y'all know tips for the pudding at my sister's house. I know it's my sister. I know it's my sister. She, she be, she got the hotline bling. She be on that motherfucking phone. So if I do, 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 you know what Davey just did? Mom, well, Davey up here whooping niggas with bounce. <laughs> Come on, brother, niggas. Man, brothers. Man, guess what? Hey, you better up here whooping niggas for belts, man. God damn. This nigga broke the piece of his belt. He came to me talking about he trying to fix it and all this shit. I'm like, damn, sis, damn. Now I'm getting in trouble this shit. Like, my mom, like, it was a savage belt. That bitch is like $20, $50, something like that around that time. My mom was like, boy, I should kill your ass. You gonna sit here and break this belt? I was like, mom, I had it for you. She said, I don't give a damn. I'm like, damn. I'm like, <sighs> My mama, man. That's why I love my mama, man. I love my mama. Oh, shit. 
I like my uncle too, man. We give y'all some background stories of my uncle, man. Recipe is my uncle, man. I got a tattoo of him right here, but I don't feel like showing all y'all niggas that shit. So yeah, recipe is my uncle too. I got I got a couple stories from my uncle too, man. Oh uh, shit, man. I remember this one time, man. Had the best time of my life. Playing video games, eat pizza. Summertime, man. I stayed at my uncle's house, man. Them niggas is they were them niggas was some whole stone cold killers and gangsters, man. These niggas had straps to the table, had coke on the table and shit. Beefing with niggas outside. It was all type of shit. But this I'm gonna give y'all a little funny one before I give y'all some stupid shit, man. It's one time, man, in my uncle's house. I was just sitting there, man, playing the game and shit, just chilling, right? The whole day go by. I had the scariest dream of my life. I, I, God forbid. I swear I'm not lying. I shitted on myself, nigga. I woke up, got the meanest ass woman in my life. He said, nigga, you seven years old. You shitting on yourself. I'm, just, I'm sitting here just looking like, I don't know what the fuck I did wrong with the Why the fuck this nigga whooping me? I'm just, I'm just so confused. And shit, I'm just acting like the shit hurts. And nigga, stop. I'm like, damn. I look at my drawers. You see a big ass Milky Way full of shit. I'm like, damn. I shitted on myself, man. I was like, man, that's still the meanest ass whooping I got in my life. My uncle, that nigga sitting there, chest up, belt. Nigga, 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 I'm like, this nigga is tripping. I'm like, bro, I just shit it on myself. But <laughs> my, uncle, my uncle was disciplined, man. I ain't never told nobody about that story. Oh, no, my brother was like, damn, nigga, what you do? My brother sitting with the game laughing like, he looking back, I be like, damn, nigga, what you do? I'm like, nigga, I took a shit on myself. I told my cousin this story first time a couple days ago. That nigga was weak as fuck, man. Man, I love that nigga, unk, man. I was just, I was just mad how passionate he was doing it. That nigga was happy. It was like this nigga was releasing some stress. He was like, nigga, nigga, nigga. I was like, this nigga need to calm down. I'm only like seven, six years old. What the fuck? Like this nigga, he ain't get tired of it. This nigga like, this nigga like, where the fuck my beer at? I'm like, oh shit. I was like, he gonna try to whip me for this nigga? Like, nigga, where's my beer, nigga? Nigga, where's my beer? I said, oh shit. I'm like, oh shit. Oh, fuck. I'm like, oh, shit, man. Goddamn. It was just one time, man. I was about like, this is when I was younger, though. I told y'all story I was a little older and shit on myself. This is, it was the story time I was a little younger, man. Oh, shit. My uncle, man. Right, this is where my uncle was staying with us, man. North side. Feel me? So. <laughs> so, man, this is when, uh. I was like three, four years old. I don't know what I was doing, right? I miss my uncle. My uncle would leave at period of times. And then this nigga, this nigga, this nigga Budweiser's always come up short. <clears throat> this nigga Budweiser's always come up short. He was just like, shit, you down there drinking my shit. You know, my uncle was going off and shit. And then me at the time, I'm not even conscious. And I don't remember this shit. They tell me this story like every couple of years to remind me. Nigga, you an alcoholic, nigga. I was like, I don't remember that shit, shit, right? So, so, years later, no, nine years later, couple months later, right? This nigga set a trap for my ass, my my little alcoholic ass. So I be going down there, power up his PlayStation Two. That nigga, that nigga already had a beer cracked open. That bitch was almost full. He turned the lights on, came down there, gets the lights didn't hit my eyes close enough at time. Nigga catch me down there just chugging that shit like this. This nigga said, like, nigga, nigga, Damien. I look up at this black nigga. This nigga like, nigga, you drinking my beer. Nigga went to go get my mom. My mom was cracking the fuck up. My dad, my eyes down there. Seemed like I had some wings and fucking pot belly. On the game, looking at this nigga like, nigga, this my beer now, nigga. What you gonna do? This nigga sitting there looking at me. <laughs> you know what he did, nigga. He got the belt with confidence, nigga, nigga, nigga. I was like, oh shit, here we go again. I felt that shit. That that gave me a quick reminder when I was full. Shit. Oh. Tell my mama. Tell my mama you say you lucky you ain't never feel no more whoopers from uncle, man. Miss that nigga, man. Rest in peace, man. Miss that nigga. Man, he always, 
He gave me this. <sighs> nigga gave me. That nigga. I gave him the funniest jokes ever. I was so little. I asked that nigga. We, he, was live, he, was, he was living in the hood. Right. I asked my uncle one time. We just riding in the car. I said, uncle, this the real hood? Me and uncle start busting out the fuck laughing. My uncle, my, all my other uncles, they start fucking busting out laughing. They said, little nigga, what you say? I said, nigga, is this the hood? <laughs> this the real hood? <laughs> Them niggas just sitting there laughing, man. I'm like, oh, shit. It sounds so smart. It sounds like a smart question. You know how you little and you feel like the question you asked was valid and was smart? I was confident with that shit. No hesitation in my voice. I said, is this the real hood? Everybody in the car still fucking dying. I kept saying it. Till one day, my grandpa, my grandpa, Freddy, he said, nigga, say it one more time. I said, oh, shit. I said, what did I do? I guess I was disrespecting this nigga said. So I kept saying, that's not the real hood. This the real hood. That nigga was getting mad. He was like, nigga, say it one more time. I was like, fuck wrong with this old ass nigga. Bald ass head. I'm like, oh, shit, this old ass nigga, man. I remember my uncle, his stepmom, man. Man, she scared the fuck out of me, man. Man, she had this, uh, she had this, like, motherfucking, it was like some type of, uh, pimple right here by her eye. She scared the fuck out of me. She had a big-ass pet, pet, uh, pet bull in the thing in uh, her motherfucking room with her. Every time we come up there, don't be scared to come in. You come in. I'm like, oh, shit. I just be sitting there and I'm like, oh, fuck. I be in her room on her good side. You know what I'm saying? Sit right there on the next to the bed besides her. Every time she raise her head to chase the controller, I be like, oh, shit. Like, the bitch scared me. I'm like, oh, man. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Garmar Carla, man. I'm like, oh, shit. She scared the fuck out of me when I was younger, man. And then what even more scared me, man, the motherfucking dog was a gangster, nigga. I'll tell you, that nigga was a real gangster. That nigga was a gangster. We come from the store and shit. We get all hella snacks. She like, when y'all got a bag of hot Cheetos? I be, I be like, you, you you can take mine. She took mine, nigga. She pouring on the floor. I'm like, what the fuck she doing? I'm like, oh, no, hell no. Nah. You see that big ass, ooh, ooh, ooh. I was like, oh, shit. I back up. I stay back. I'm like, oh, this nigga eating the hot Cheetos. I said, what the fuck wrong with this nigga? I was like, this nigga, I was like, this nigga about to die. That shit got red 40 in it. That got all artificial flavors. That nigga ate it. Hop back on the bed like this. I tapped it. nigga. said, the nigga dead. So is that nigga dead? I don't, I don't got no part to this. This is my hot Tito's. But you the supplier. Your shit, you gave it to him. I'm like, oh, I don't want none of that. Hell no. I backed up and everything. I'm like, I don't want no part to that shit. Don't the dog die. That nigga wake up. This nigga sniffing in the corner. He comes sniffing me. I guess he smelled the uh the hot Tito's on my hands and shit. This nigga started licking my hands. I'm I can't do nothing. This the big homie right here. This nigga big as fuck. I'm like, I looked at my brother. I was like, if I make it alive, if I don't make it alive, tell mama I love her. I, I was, I was confident, man. I was little nigga. Shit, I was scared. My auntie Car, Auntie Carla's dog, I me mean, grandma Carla's dog was definitely scared of me, man. Rest in peace. I love her too, man. She, she a big part of my childhood, man. I'm like, I love him. I love him, man. The motherfuckers over there crazy, man. I remember one time, we was out there having a lifting competition, man. I don't know how this, I don't know how my brother pulled this shit off, man. This nigga was smaller than me. This nigga was smaller than me and shit. I'm like, this nigga, we sitting up there trying to pick up my uncle. My uncle, like a scrawny ass nigga, but he, he weighed a lot, though. You know what I'm saying? That's because all that beer he be drinking and all that, all that weed and cigarettes and nicotine he be smoking. My brother over there, who? I said, man, this little ass nigga could do My brother smaller than me. You know this nigga? I was fat ass nigga. I said, oh, I said, damn, my motherfucking back. Nigga, I broke all four parts of my back plate. I said, hell no. But you know how I'm out there when you're out there in the hood, nigga, can't be weak. I pick him up again. I got him halfway. I dropped this nigga. Dropped this nigga on his head. This nigga got up. Hey, nigga, line up against the wall. Nigga, nigga. I was like, bro, what's up with this nigga in this special move? I'm like, this nigga's up there whooping my ass. My better just sitting there in the cave. He got bored. That nigga went back inside. He started playing the, he started playing the PS2 and shit. Hold on, guys. Oh. Sorry about that. It's a little cut right there. I'm about to cut that right there. My brother got bored. That nigga's like, 
I'm ready to start laughing. <laughs> nigga went back and started playing the PS2. That nigga was on that. <laughs> we was playing that WV and shit. And Sonic real heavy, man. My brother, my brother loved that shit to death, man. Hey, my uncle had that. He had all the matters, nigga. You can't tell him shit about Madden. He don't gotta play the game. <sighs> that nigga, that nigga fuck with the Eagles, man. He fuck with the Eagles. He don't use nothing but the Eagles. <sighs> he said, I don't care. You pick any team you want. Try to pick the Eagles. That nigga slap your type of head like, nigga. Like, damn, nigga, it's the same slap. This is slap on the head, not the ass. I'm like, I was like, I wanna be the Eagles. He said, nigga, stop being funny, nigga. You know that's my team. I said, you got it, bro. It's every situation. I'm like, why I get that mother's ass with this, man? <laughs> this nigga just occasionally walk by me. Slap the shit out of my head. I'm like, what the fuck I do? You know what you do? You don't use your grandma Carla ragging her in the motherfucking bathroom. I said, that was her rag? Right? I said, shit. I started getting scared. I thought she was going to chuck my ass out when she see me. She see me, she's like, hey, baby. I ain't say nothing, though. I thought she knew. I was just sitting there looking all scared and shit. I was just sitting down like this, looking all scared and shit. She found out after I left. Next time I came over, she ended up hitting me with that stuff too. She said, nigga. I said, oh shit. So what do I do this time? I found you used my red. I said, shit, I ain't mean to. She said, <laughs> she said, motherfucker ask. I said, I asked. Your boy Freddy just waved. He said, nigga, wash up, nigga, wash up. I said, okay. I don't want no smoke with that bald head ass nigga too. Y'all niggas too, y'all two niggas in here already be bullying me and shit. I'll be going home with a big smile though because I love the niggas, but I'm like, damn, nigga slap me in my head one more time. We gonna be in this bitch fighting. I'm, shit, I'm four, I'm four foot at the time, shit. Like one, 100 pounds. But the nigga slapped me in my head again. I'm a chucky, you nigga. You feel me? Yeah. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> I'm Davey no more, man. Hope y'all like it. Hope y'all like some of it. Hope y'all laugh a little bit. Whatever. Right to a thousand, man. Y'all niggas subscribe, man. My comedy special. My life. Peace. My bad, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. That's all you need to grab? Yeah. All right, baby. Hey, word on the street, I'm a suspect. suspect. Hanging with the killers in the projects. Tell them what I'm keep quiet. Catch a nigga slipping from behind. OG, Bobby, Josh. Hey.